Hello, this is Rethinking Treatment. Today I'd like to talk with you about the cause, the roots of a disease and the concepts, the extraordinary ideas of traditional Chinese medicine behind it. Hello, nice to see you. Chinese medicine offers different concepts behind roots, behind the causes of diseases. One of the concepts are the so-called outer pathogenic factors. They influence especially the meridians, the famous meridians from Chinese medicine. But what does it mean, outer pathogenic factors? There are different pathogenic factors wind, coldness, dampness, wetness, heat, summer heat and dryness. What does wind mean? Well, the wind is similar to the wind we know from nature. Wind is one of the roots talking about German measles or rubella. Wind likes to combine with other pathogens. So if wind, in example, combines with heat, we'll get hay fever, heat, fever, hay, hay fever, allergic conjunctivitis, allergic rhinitis. Dampness, dampness goes down. So dampness often affects the kidneys and the urinary bladder. So urinary tract infections may be caused by the pathogenic factor of dampness. Coldness, extremely important factor of the pathogenesis. Coldness invades, for example, the lower lumbar region and causes blockage of qi and blood and will cause a damp, uh, localized pain in this area. What are the other factors? Dryness. Dryness will dry up the eyes, will dry up the mouth. I will hardly be able to swallow. Heat. Heat can cause invasion of heat in the summer. We get stroke-like appearance in a patient. In Western countries, we are not familiar with the term of the summer heat. It's the heat of the tropic regions with a damp heat. And it may be a cause, an example, for infectious diarrhea. What is behind these ideas? What's behind these concepts? They are very picturesque. The Chinese people like to use pictures to explain. But let us focus on one example, the coldness. Coldness invades, for example, the lower rumble region. If there is further coldness, it will worsen the symptoms. But we counteract these problems with applying local heat. You all know you would read, you'd let red light to get rid of the coldness. You may use cherry pillows to get warming up of the tissue. And similar is what your therapist will do. He will use specific warming of the tissue by using, by applying moxa. It's artemisia behind it. Applying to the region of the coldness and applying to specific acupuncture points. So all of a sudden, the esoteric, the picturesque ideas of Chinese medicine become evident by medical approach, become a holistic concept. So you may think initially it's a very philosophical approach. But if you go into detail, you will realize it's a holistic concept that can be proven with Western scientific ideas. Use the holistic ideas of Chinese medicine towards your own health, towards the health of your patients. Stay healthy. Very best wishes. Michael Weber, Senden, Germany.